Vegas sirloin steaks. And tonight we have two great flavors for you. So, Brittany, we have the plain, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And also the mesquite option tonight. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the plain so first. So we only actually have four dozen left wow. in the plain tonight. So that's going fast going because really it's quickly. the everything steak, right? It really right? is. Why is so that? The sirloin is steak we call our everything steak. And the reason is we can use it for so many different things, right? Whatever you would use a steak for in your home, whether it be a salad or a fajita, or if you want to make a cheese steak, or you just want to eat it as a center of the plate steak, it is the steak for that. It's a steak you want to have in your freezer at all times, but it's also one of the most cost conscious steaks. It's very lean, but lean doesn't mean it lacks flavor. It's going to be very flavorful very tender and very juicy. I mean, you can see just the amount of moisture that comes out of these steaks. As we're cutting them, this is the plain option. So it is plain, but we actually added a little bit of seasoning, like a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to that already. Um, so you can just get it at home and, you know, fire away and you're ready to go. So, Ray, this is called the everything steak because yes. this is the one steak I think that's out there that you truly can use for everything. It's great for breakfast, for steak and eggs. It's great on its own, it like is. you're showing us here, the plain option. And then from there, if you cut it into cubes, it's great for right. uh, using it as stew. It's wonderful for fajitas. If you cut it into strips, it's great for kebabs. Right. So this is the steak exactly. And it's individually packaged for you and blast frozen. So this, you just defrost in a bowl of cold water for right. about 20 to 30 minutes. Let it rest for a little while. And then from there, if you want to cut it up into cubes or strips, you can. And guess what? If you like to cook your steaks whole, Ray's cutting these up into strips right now for us right. because I have a steakhouse salad right now, a little seasonal. We're going to yep. add some uh, apples to that as well. Here you go. You got them? You're good. Okay. okay. Um, so you're absolutely right, Brittany. This is a six-ounce steak, right, that can easily feed a salad for two because it's very lean. So anything you would have, you know, an eight ounce steak or even a nine ounce steak that you would buy at the grocery store that typically is gonna have a lot of fat and things on it that you don't wanna have to eat when you get it home. This steak is gonna be the steak that's gonna totally surprise you when you get it at home because it's six ounces of lean protein, right? Lean meat. So if you're somebody that really wants to include protein in your diet, but maybe wants to be conscious of how much it's gonna cost, this is a great option for you because of the fact that just how economical these are. These are eight black Angus steaks. You're still gonna have a great experience. They're aged for 28 days. That means we keep them in our cooler, under vacuum, and age them for a 28 day period to allow that meat to just can break down even further. And that's one of the many reasons that sets us apart from a steak that you buy at the grocery store. But beyond the aging, it's also the way in which we trim it. And I wanna take you to the raw meat here for a second and just kinda of show that to you, Brittany. Um, which you know, obviously, from us being together for so long. But yeah, yeah, this, but you know what? It yes. never gets old to it, me, it ever, not. because of the quality of it. Because Definitely. truly, before we met, the quality of steak that I was right. eating outside of restaurants was not this, so I didn't eat right. steak Absolutely. outside of restaurants. And, and typically, you know, a sirloin steak that you would buy at the grocery store is going to be comprised of three muscles. It's the center cut portion, it's what they call the cap, and you have this kind of side piece that has a lot of fat and gristle and things you don't want to eat in it. And it's a very large steak. What we do is we separated it all completely. We took it down to just this single muscle, which is incredibly lean, right? We took all that fat off of it, all the silver, all the stuff you don't want to eat. Then we cut the ends, and these will go into our sirloin cubes. And then we take the very center cut six ounce pieces, and we cut these beautiful steaks for you at home. And I want you to see just how lean these are, right? Very lean very marbled, but at the same respect, you're gonna be able to eat from one end to the other of this steak. So you don't have to worry about, you know, fighting with fat or gristle and things like that on your plate when you get it at home. But the other thing you can do at home, as I just did it from cooked, if you wanna just take it, I mean, and, and be a butcher at home, it's actually pretty fun. I, I get a lot of enjoyment out of cutting meat. Um, just take your knife and, you know, quickly, and you know you can put a plate on top of it first if you want to cut it, but quickly just cut it into fajita strips like that. Now you can very quickly throw it in your saute pan and you can make one of the best, you know, sirloin Philly cheesesteaks that you would make. Or you can take it and put it over a salad. There's just so many uses for this steak. So whether it, you're gonna keep it just like this as a center cut steak or, you know, do one of the different things that we've done here for you. We call it the everything steak because it's the one that you wanna have in your freezer at all times because it really goes with everything. 
So we also have another option as well, other than just the plain tonight. We have the right. mesquite barbecue. So we Ray, do. if you want to cut one of them for us we to do. try. We do. I love the mesquite because the one, you know, sometimes people hear mesquite and they he feel that it's going to be hot. Heat. This is not hot. It just has a little bit of a kick to it. How would you uh, explain it? I think it's more like an earthy, it is. It's kind of like a barbecue flavor, almost. almost like a very light, right. light smoked flavor. It doesn't right. have that barbecue sauce flavor. Right at all. I mean, but look how lean and beautiful that is still. But you can see it has that kind of mesquite edge to it, right? It's seasoned throughout the meat. That's what's great about these steaks is that seasoning, because it's vacuum seasoned, it means that seasoning is being pulled all the way throughout the meat, all the way to the inside. It's not just a topical that we add before we package it. So you're going to taste that all the way through the steak. And this is, like Ray said, it's very light in flavor, but you still right. can do that barbecue style cooking with it. Oh, definitely. We always like to give everybody tips on how to have an easy dinner. Right. So right here, we brought a little bit of cornbread, right. a little bit of coleslaw, Absolutely. mac and cheese, right. kind of that traditional uh, barbecue style right. sides. And then you can just cook your steaks on the grill, in your saute pan, on your smokeless grill, whatever your method is. I even think that some people do this in you know, the air fryer. Absolutely. I was going to say, you know, one of the, my favorite things to do with this steak is just being outside on the grill. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still actually having a lot of fun watching games and things like that. We're kind of in the heart of that tailgate season. You know, if you're somebody that's going into the parking lots or your son or grandson or, or husband is, send him with these steaks because they cook so quickly, right? This is a great steak to use for tailgates, for kind of game day. But also, as we said, it's just that everything steak. When you see how juicy and how tender this is, but also how lean, right? I mean, you can see the amount of juice and moisture that's coming out of this steak. That's how you know it's gonna to be totally different from anything you would expect when you go to the grocery store because we've taken all the stuff that makes this steak not fun to eat, right? Which is all that fat and silver skin and heavy, you know, kind of uh, gristle. We've taken all that off for you. Did you forget to cut me a piece? I did forget to cut you a piece, here you go. Thank you. And this is also, again, one of those steaks that is very lean, but completely full of flavor. So it I is. don't want everybody to think that because you're looking at it and it doesn't have like a ton of marbling right. in it, that it's not there and it's- in Absolutely, and tender, right? This is a very tender steak. Folks okay. like the sirloin because of how tender it is. They're not having to fight with it, right? To really chew it and get through it. I mean, you can see how this meat is just kind of separating. That's how you know it's gonna be incredibly tender when you bite into it. And ultimately, when you kind of cut it with your knife, it just kind of glides right through. And this one is the mesquite, the one that Ray's cutting right now. So I think it's important to note that there's no like sauce on it. No. There's no heavy rub on it. It really is kind of just infused Absolutely. into the meat. I just took a bite. It's been probably about a month since I've had this. Right. Uh, not too long, but um, the flavor is almost just like that earthy tone. I can't. It is. I can't this way. explain to everybody well enough that it is not a hot by any means. There's no heat. No. It's just a lot of flavor. Right. So if this is something, if you, you know, if you cook steaks at home and maybe you want to try a new seasoning, this is already done for you. It is. You don't have to worry about not getting the ratio right. We already did it all is. that work for you. Know, you. One of the other things that I think is really fun to use with a sirloin steak, because again, how lean it is, you could take one of these steaks, cut it into six large cubes and make kebabs out of them. Again, there's just so many different uses for this, mm. but it all comes back to starting with the right meat, right? We start with black Angus beef that has been raised for meat eating, right? That's what this these steers have been raised for. It's really for beef eating. They're synonymous for quality when it comes to black Angus. And then we age it for 28 days and trim all that heavy fat and sinew off and deliver you these beautiful vacuum package steaks. So Ray, I think we have a little update tonight sure. on these sirloins. If you want the plain, we only have a dozen remaining. Wow, well, mm -hmm. well, thank you. And in the mesquite, we have 300 remaining. Right. So I think, again, we love to describe that one a little bit more than the plain, Definitely. just to get across how delicious it is. I just had two pieces and like I, I could finish this right Ab now. I won't, absolutely. but I could. But these are under $10 a steak as well. So think about when you go to a steakhouse right now, no matter what the steakhouse is. I mean, Ray right. and I went to one last weekend with our kids. We were at a hockey tournament and it was, you know, one of the chain ones. Right. And it was, still very With expensive. With the machine that makes the pancakes. Exactly. It was still very expensive 
you know, for the four of us. So under $10 a steak for a black Angus right. sirloin steak, you're receiving eight of them. They are six ounces. So if you do want to cut them up and do the fajitas, do the cubes, That's they right, really Brittany. go a very long way for such a premium, high quality piece they do. of beef. Right. There's not many restaurants that you can go to that you can have a steak of this quality for under $10, right? It's just not available no. in today's market, especially with what's happened with beef prices in our country. And really, quite frankly, around the world, everything has gotten more and more expensive and it continues to increase that way. So with these steaks, every one of them is coming to you individually vacuum packaged and you can have at it when you're ready. So this is item M83652, eight of the six ounce black Angus sirloin steaks for easy payments of $19.25. We are on last call of the plain option, but we do have the mesquite barbecue still available. This is free standard shipping and handling and auto delivery is not available on this item tonight. So stock up on this.